clouds, blue sky like a Magritte painting. Her skin is so translucent, and her eyes are like being underwater in the Caribbean on the brightest day of the whole year, dazzling. And when she looks at me, I have trouble looking back because I'm afraid I'm going to sink to the bottom and never be seen again. Oh boy, it unnerves me when she looks at me that way. It makes me want to reach out and pull her very close to me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this happens every time. Maybe you should just call out. You know, then we could keep working. I know this looks like a mess, but I really am a whiz in the kitchen. You're gonna love this, I hope. I really think we need to start getting into the nitty-gritty. You know, your personal feelings. Hey, doesn't it feel like we're married or something? Married? You know, if we lived together, I'd cook for you all the time. Oh, uh, well, this feels really great, Nate. I uh, Really, I, uh, but... I don't know, maybe it's not realistic. You know, I think we'd get on each other's nerves day in and day out. You never know unless you try. You know, maybe we should go back and talk about your childhood. I mean, did you always want to be a cop? Well, actually, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a surgeon. Huh, that's interesting. Hey, tell me the truth. Do I get on your nerves? No. No, not at all. I mean, don't be silly. Maybe we should get back to your childhood. Uh, what kind of surgeon? You think we can put the book aside for a while and just take some downtime and just enjoy each other's company? Nate, I'm worried. About what? I'm worried that this book is just going to turn into another puff piece. You know, I mean, all Sarah wants is some content-free, sensationalistic piece of pulp, you know, but I want this to be real and personal and intimate. It'll be fine. It'll be all of that after dinner. Okay, fine. Maybe you're right. been sitting there? Not long. Just since I finished washing dishes. Oh. Warm milk. Just what the doctor ordered. I can't believe I fell asleep. I should get up. No, no. You stay right there. Just drink this milk. Down. Oh, no, really. I've got a lot to do. No. Just relax. Besides, you should be drinking more milk now. Milk is good for you right now. And I'm going to sit right here until you drink that whole glass down. And no excuses. I got five kinds of flavor straws that make them taste yummy. Chocolate, strawberry, banana. Flavor straws? Are you joking? I am practically 40. Never too old for flavor straws. I think I'm going to go into my bedroom and lie down for a while. Hey, soup's almost done. 
Why don't you go crawl in the bed and get comfy? I'll bring it in to you. What are you doing in my bed? Come here. Maybe we could do some dancing in the sheets. Oh, I don't think that's a very good idea. And uh, I'm not even really very sure I could do any of this. No, see, I really need to speak to Dr. Rosenthal about all this uh, pregnancy and sex stuff. It's all very, very complicated. <laughs> oh. This apartment gets so drafty. Oh, wait, Nate, how do you do this? You appear and disappear so fast. I... And change clothes, too. There. Does that feel better? Tons, thank you. I... Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to try and find some privacy in my bathroom. Great. That's a good idea. What are you doing in there? Flowering the tub. Flowering? Tub daisies. So you won't slip. See, I wouldn't want you to get hurt. Especially now, I mean, you have to be very, very careful. And I didn't get the rough ones. I know how sensitive your skin is. See, you can sit on these babies all day without chafing. That's very considerate. Hi, Molly. How was work? I feel like I'm Alice in Wonderland. I'm getting too big, or this apartment's getting too small. Can I get something for you? <gasps> Let me help you, Molly. I'm here if you need me. Isn't this nice? It's like we're married or something. You never know until you try. <laughs> Molly. Hmm. Molly? You ready for dinner? Dinner? Uh, no. Uh, well, yes. Uh, maybe a little later. Boy, I can't believe I fell asleep. Uh, you know, I gotta go to the store, pick up a couple of things. You know, I should have done it earlier. Sorry. You know, and I, I do want to taste the gumbo, and I will. But right now, I just kind of got to get out of here. I'm feeling a little claustrophobic. Kind of late for a stroll, isn't it, Miss Dodd? Believe me, it is not by choice, Davy. You know, statistics show that couples who live together before marriage have a higher divorce rate than those who wait. We are not living together if it's any of your business. It just seems to me that you've been spending a whole lot of quality time with a certain someone. Maybe we have. So what? Well, suppose if this detective does turn out to be a permanent cohabitator of your humble domicile, could we assume that he is now the progenitor? Why is everybody so concerned who the progenitor may or may not be? Miss Dart, if you don't mind my saying so, it's tough to live with a person who erects such a defensive perimeter. An attitude adjustment may be in order for a better and more harmonious home life. I am not defensive. You are intruding on my privacy. I'd like to think that our lives are an open book. You and me, Miss Dodd, we give each other bits of insight. We share, tit for tat, quid pro quo. Can we just not talk about anything personal? Maybe something ordinary. Such as? I don't know. Baseball? I mean, that's something generic? Yes. How about those Mets? All-star break coming up. Takes me back to my AAA days. Ah, so you're a fan of our national pastime. And a close personal friend of the late, great Bart Giamatti. He was an inspiration to us all. Nice chatting with you, Davy. If I've offended you in any way, I'd be the first to apologize. Oh, no, Davy, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just tired. I need a little privacy, a little peace and quiet. If you ever offend me, believe me, you'll be the first to know. I knew you were thick-skinned, Miss Dodd. Actually, I've been told I have very delicate porcelain-like skin. Thin. The kind that wrinkles easily. <laughs> Vitamin E will do the trick. And don't forget to rub some over the belly, nice and slick. Uh, prevent those stretch marks. 
Little oil will hide the toil. They've expanded. Yeah, well, it is amazing. Uh, the cash register used to be under that water buffalo. Yeah. And uh, fiction, A to D, was over by the uh, salsa vats. Oh. Oh, and American history was right over there underneath that donkey piñata. <laughs> Why do you have the flashlight? Well, so I can read in dark restaurants. How about a slammer? Oh, uh, well, no, not for me, thanks. How about you, Sport? Uh, I'll have a regular margarita. No salt. Ready to order? Oh, no, I uh, haven't even looked at the menu yet. Oh, just pick a number. They're, they're all numbers. I'll have a number 17. Flour or corn tortillas? Uh, flour. What's in a number uh, 15? Two chicken enchiladas, two chicken tacos, beans and rice. I'll have a number 15 of uh, corn tortilla uh, and a glass of water. If you need anything else, just whistle. My name's Carly. Oh, well, that was easy. Wish there was a number for what I need to tell you. Uh, well, I, I don't know how to say this, Moss. I'm sorry I can't hear you. I'm pregnant. Well, oh, congratulations. Thank you. Uh -huh. Are you getting married? Moss, do you remember in the elevator? Elevator? What elevator? The night of the power failure. Oh. 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 Oh, oh. Well, that was just once, and we were between floors. It only takes once. Uh. Feel the warmth? Yes, uh, vaguely. That's how I feel. Like a flashlight? Mm, excited, warm, all over. I know I sometimes don't do uh, the right thing, act uh, the right way. I mean, most other guys would, uh, I don't know, let out a whoop or something, or you know, light up a cigar. But I did, inside. Right now, inside, I am smoking a cigar. Oh. Oh, it gets complicated. Boy, does it ever. I love you. And I will love this baby. Here you go, sport. Is this a regular margarita? <laughs> Boss, I... I need to be very honest. Uh, you know that I've been seeing Nate, uh, Detective Hawthorne, for quite a while. Uh, so the truth is, uh, this might not be your child. I... Chances are. Oh? Well... I see. Of course, that, uh, that uh, makes sense. Excuse me. I have to go to the bathroom. Hi. Nick. <laughs> Nick, hi. Noticed your uh, friend left. Ah, yes, it's a little embarrassing. We were confiding in each other, and I think I might have made him sick. I do you think you could go in the men's room and see if he was all right? Sure, I'll check it out. Thanks. How about a picture with Elvis? Only $3.50, excluding gratuity. Uh, it sounds tempting, but I'll pass. You ready for that slammer? Uh, no, but I think I'll have some flan. Melted margarita. Mama. Any sign? No, the bathroom was empty. Found this by the window. This is nice. 
No way. I don't understand. Where could he have gone? Well, the window was open. I think he pulled a D.B. Cooper myself, bailed out on the check. Well, I don't believe it. How about another slammer, big fella? Hit me. Oh, and it's nasty stuff. Thanks for the slammer, Mama. You're welcome. You okay? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just a little disappointed. W wanna talk about it? Well, I'm uh, pregnant, and I don't really know who the father is. I... It's very nice, huh? Uh, the first suspect you could have met tonight, but uh, he escaped through the bathroom window. You can't trust a guy who runs out on a dinner check. You're better off cutting him loose. No, I'm sure you're right. Bachelor number two, uh, uh, he's very dependable, but I'm not absolutely sure I want to settle down with him. I mean, even if he is the father, I... Yeah, but other than that, it's smooth sailing. Yeah, a day at the beach. It's not a bad idea. You ought to get away for a couple of days. Give yourself a break, change the scene. Oh, no, Nick, I don't want you to do that. My pleasure. You still owe me a meal, you know. In fact, now you owe me two. One Mexican, one regular. I know, I haven't forgotten. Uh, you know, here. For you. You sure? Well, this is a major souvenir. This is a night to remember. Yes, and I want you to have it. Well, thanks. I'm touched. Maybe I'll even try to press it between the pages of my scrapbook. Look, I gotta get back there. Listen, you need anything, you call me. Anytime. couple has arrived. Come on in. Hello, dear. <laughs> so nice to be here with an invitation. Well, it's certainly different. Hi, Arthur. Molly, so nice of you to invite us over. Oh, not at all. It's the least I could do after everything you're doing for me. So, uh, what do you think of your investment? Oh, very nice. But you're my investment, Molly. And I have a great deal more confidence in this investment than anything in the theater these days. <laughs> This champagne is strictly ceremonial. I know you're not imbibing these days. Well, thanks, Arthur. I'll, I'll open it right now. It's definitely better than anything I have in my refrigerator. Arthur is very big on ceremony. Oh, I just believe in underlining the significant moments in our lives. Make the most of them. And may I say, this is a very special moment for me. Well, grape juice for me, but I'll be thinking champagne. Of course. <laughs> In any event, I want you to know how truly honored I am to be here. You're beginning to sound like an award show, Arthur. Oh, I'm sorry. I just... Well, have we all got our drinks? Mm -hmm. As I look at Molly, the phrase, more blessed to give than to receive, takes on a greater meaning. You don't know how happy I am to make this small gesture, because it brings me even closer to a family of whom I'm extremely fond. Oh. Molly. I want you to consider this check not as a loan on the down payment for your apartment, but as a present. Oh, Arthur. A wedding present from me. Arthur. Please, let me finish. I should like so much to be part of your future happiness. And I must confess, I hope there'll be another wedding in this family before too long. I don't know what to say, Arthur. <laughs> Were you asking? Oh, we needn't talk about it right now, dear. <clears throat> uh, I don't know what to say either, except I'm not getting married. I don't understand. Your mother said that you were, how shall I say it, uh, with child? That part of it is true. And marriage? A wedding? Not on the horizon. 
I had no idea. The gentleman hasn't proposed? Neither one of them. Molly, don't make it worse. Oh, well, this changes everything. I mean, I don't understand. I seem to have got the whole thing wrong. I wish your mother had been more forthright about your predicament. Oh, I wish she had to, but I really don't see it as a predicament. There was an element of choice involved. Oh, yes, of course. I imagine there was. Well, shall we eat? I'm sorry this was sprung on you, Arthur. Someone should have told you. Oh, no, it's, it's nothing. I just didn't understand the situation. And if you had, you never would have volunteered the money. Now, now, I'm not saying that. No, it's perfectly clear how you feel. I think I have a better idea of how he feels than you do, Molly. He wants you to have the money. I promised you the money, Molly. I'm certainly not going back on my word. Well, I really appreciate that, Arthur, but I think it's better if we just forget it. Now, let's start in on brunch, shall we? Mother, could I have a hand in the kitchen? So when were you going to tell him? When the time was right. Why won't you take his money? Because he doesn't want me to have it. Don't worry. I'll straighten everything out. Oh, fine. I will manage. I will get you the money some way or another. Ah. This is simply lovely, dear. Yes. Thank you so much. Oh, it was nothing, really. Mm -hmm.